Good morning, gents. Today we have this true three-door freezer. Um, I guess there's a model R404, 18 ounces. And we will be doing a... All right, gents, we got this compressor out. I didn't want to bore you with the uh, details. You guys know how to pull compressors. Unsweat the suction, unsweat the discharge. And now I'm coming into an issue here. This this connector here on two and three and five and six has the condenser fan motor wiring and as you can see, it's got these pins. And the new compressor has the wiring, but no wires, of course. So, and this compressor didn't come with the pins that go in there. I'll get this straightened out. Still need to do the dryer. I haven't taken the dryer out. But uh, it's going along pretty good. Hold compressors out. New compressor is going to go in. We're going to braze these uh, these fittings in here. So and then another one uh, is going to go right here on the compressor. Uh, right here. Take this off and sweat it in over here. Might even be able to just do this. Why not? We'll see. All right, gents. Got the compressor seated inside. I was able to get those. Uh, I was able to get those wires hooked back up. Um, but since I had already cut them to try to figure it out, I had to wire nut them back together. So that'll probably look like crap. But oh well. We're at this point. It is what it is. It's my solenoid right here. So right now, what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna get to unsweating this, brazen some access ports here, and here for the liquid line, braze the joints right there, pull a vacuum, so I'm gonna have to go get some nitrogen. Um, Now we're ready to braze. Regardless as to what people say, I braze with nitrogen. <laughs> there we go. Got it flowing in. Let's see if I can set this baby. Back up to get you a good little video. Visual.
wires done. These welds don't look half horrible. We'll still give it a nice pressure test. Now we gotta get in there and get the uh, suction and discharge. And then this access port. I already welded this access port with nitrogen, so. Flowing, ready to braze. Well guys, I'm gonna admit this was not the prettiest brazing I've ever done. It's kind of uncomfortable in there. Um, but I'm gonna pressure test it, see if it holds. Once it holds, put it in a vacuum. So be right back. Alright guys, got the pressure up to about hundred psi. I'm not gonna go too crazy on it. I'm gonna let it sit. Meanwhile. I'm going to pick up all my crap, take everything out to the truck, and get the vacuum pump, and uh, start the vacuum process as soon as I get back, so compressor change out to success. Once the vacuum's going, I'll wire everything up, and we'll be good. Alright guys, it's been about half an hour. We're still holding. This side was 95, this side was 100. So we're still doing pretty good. I guess I probably need to adjust my gauges or something. Calibrate it, because that one says 95, this one says 105. So I'll probably get to that later. But I wanted to show you this. You know, you're brazen. <laughs> you gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. Look at that. Luckily it didn't get damaged. It's just a little turning on the outside, but I even got this one too, just a little bit. But it's not enough to damage the wire. So, anyways, as far as I get the line solenoid, uh, we got the magnet on it. So, we're about to dump this baby, uh, go get the vacuum pump, and start pulling the vacuum. I wonder if I should just do it with gauges. I don't feel like doing the whole. beyond and no manifolds hashtag blah 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 we'll see vacuum's been going on for less than 10 minutes or so we're already at about 800 microns 
So we're gonna let it run. We'll do a quick decay test. Then we're gonna add some charge. That'll be the end of it. So we'll see what happens, but this is a successful compressor transplant. And we'll see, we'll see how this plays out and uh, then we'll finish finish up so anyways there we go all right gents she's up and running i wish i would have been able to get more video of the vacuum and all but my phone died I had to go charge it in the truck but um pull the vacuum uh, below 500 about 420 microns um, decay test passed and um, charged it up with uh 18 ounces of uh R4 pouring and uh, we got it running so it's a freezer so it's been running for about five minutes we're gonna give it a few more minutes and uh, then we'll check it again but for now I gotta go install this bad boy in the same building so I'll see if I can get some shots of that while this is running so this unit is complete <clears throat> It's already pulling down the temp. What's that, Chief? Our first end pressure is looking good. Weighed in the charge according to the manufacturer specifications. 18 ounces. Nice true freezer. And that's it. I'm going to watch it here while I pick up all my stuff. And that is it. This is done. Thank you guys for watching. Wish I could have gotten some better uh, shots and all, but it is what it is. Thank you guys. See you on the next one.